Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back to show off some more plunder that I have acquired over the last little while. i uh, got a lot to get through, so I'm just going to jump right into it. But firstly though, if you can hear it playing in the background, listening to Death Covenant by Fetid Zombie. Their latest release, first time listening to this, and uh, sounding real good so far. I'm actually going to start off with a DVD and a Blu-ray. It's something you don't see me show too often anymore on here. But uh, this one I was really excited to find in the used section to half price books. I need to clean up the case a little bit, but this is Paul Stanley, One Life Kiss. Uh, yeah, just a concert he did with his solo band back in 2006. I've seen a couple clips from this and I really wanted to get it. And for some reason, I forgot to get it when it first came out and it seems like it's harder to find nowadays and I don't know why. Uh, next up, I found this in the rock section at FYE instead of over in the metal section where Iron Maiden stuff is kept. But this is a Scream for Me, Sarajevo, A Time of Hope, or A Story of Hope and a Time of War. And no, I did not pay $17.99 for this. Uh, I was on sale and I have a 10% uh, discount because I have a membership card to FYE. But yeah, this is a uh, concert put on in 1994 with a. Uh, Bruce Dickinson in his uh, band Skunk Works, and I actually read about what all went into this concert in his book. Very fascinating, so I cannot wait to watch that. All right, getting into the U stuff, we have MSG with their self-titled. This is uh, Macaulay and Schenker. Really good stuff. Really trying to uh, get into more MSG. Next up, Thy Pain, More Than Suffering. Uh, this was kind of a blind buy. It was only $4.99. It looked interesting. So um, I've listened to it, and um, it's okay. I mean, that's about all I'm really going to say about it. This one I wasn't sure if I had, but it was cheap enough, and I picked it up anyway. Uh, Crowbar, Past and Present. I would open it to show you the disc, but the tray is broken. I have not had a chance to replace it, and I don't want it falling out. Becoming the Archetype, Terminate, Damnation. Again, another one that I was debating on picking up, even as cheap as it was, because I wasn't sure if I had it. And uh, looked up their discography real fast on my phone, and I believe I did not have that. So, yeah, I think I finally completed my collection on them, too, with that one. Uh, another blind buy, but it looked really badass. This is uh, Burial Hordes, Devotion to Unholy Creed. Uh, from what I read, these guys are a black metal band. Not sure where they're from, but uh, thought I'd give it a shot. And we have uh, Converge with Petitioning the Empty Sky. May have to speed this up a little bit, just kind of fly through these. Then we have Blackfoot with Strikes. Uh, really good kind of southern rock i guess you'd call it band that i've uh, been hearing a lot about i've been wanting to check this out after i heard a song of theirs and it's actually off that album next up picked up some rush because you know of course neil pert passed away here recently rest in peace and um you know i've got rush cds but i've just you know it's one of those things that you start collecting a band and then you kind of just forget about it and then you know, something happens, though they get brought back to your attention. And I know a lot of people say, oh, it takes somebody's death to finally, you know, give you a kick in the ass to do it. But, you know, what? sometimes that's what it takes. And uh, sad as it is to say, but picked up a few from the U section and a couple new ones from FYE. Got Presto. Uh, Test for Echo. Roll the Bones. And then these ones came from FYE, All the World's a Stage and Caress of Steel. All right, moving on to the last stack here, the new ones. This is Quartz with their self-titled debut album, I believe it is. Really awesome, uh, just kind of straight up heavy metal. I remember hearing these guys' name years ago and then I kind of forgot about them and here recently somebody posted a song off that album and I listened to it, I was like, fuck, I have got to get that. Next two actually came from my sister for Christmas. Uh, the reissues of uh, Demons and Wizards with uh, the self-title here, remastered edition, as well as uh, Touched by the Crimson King. I actually have their newest one pre-ordered, and I was actually able to pre-order a signed copy, so I'm really fucking excited about that. 
Uh, speaking of signed copies, here's Helix with their, uh, I don't remember if this was their first or their second album, White Lace and Black Leather. And this is actually signed by Brian Vollmer, vocalist, so really happy about that. Got the new uh, Breaking Benjamin release, Aurora. Um, yeah, not a new album, just a re-recording of some of their older songs. And it does have a new track on here. Uh, Far Away, I believe, is the new track featuring Scooter Ward of Cold. So this has some guest appearances on here and stuff. Um, I like Breaking Benjamin. I've kind of been slowly getting into him over the last year or so. Next up, the debut from Convent, Puritan Masochism. Really killer stuff. Uh, and I know people hate this term, but it's the only way to describe it. All-female doom death band out of Denmark, I believe. Definitely, definitely check this out. I would recommend it. Uh, next up, Black Sabbath Dehumanizer. This is the uh, Deluxe Expanded Edition. Comes with a bonus disc. Normally, I don't get into buying reissues a lot of times for older stuff. It just depends on if it makes it worth it for me. But uh, I really wanted to hear how good this one sounds. This was my first Dio era Sabbath album. So I really wanted to hear how good the remaster was. And plus, it came with a uh, some really cool material here on the uh, bonus disc. Uh, single edit and B-side versions of a couple of the songs off the album. Plus a live set from uh, July 1992. So wanted to check that out. Uh, next two, I believe, came off of uh, eBay. Got these from uh, one of my favorite sellers on there. This is a picture with uh, every story needs another picture and marathon another uh, two-on-one issue here. Um, picture albums are just hard to find, it seems like. And it uh, seems like the only way you can get them are these you know, two albums on one CD sets, which normally I'm not a big fan of, but what can you do? Oh, finally picked up Betsy and their uh, her self-titled album. Uh, yeah, Betsy, the vocalist for Bitch. This was her uh, debut solo album. Finally happy to pick up a copy of that. Got another Gary Moore here with Wild Frontier. I might have shown this once before, but I couldn't remember, so I threw it in the pile anyway. Uh, yeah, Gary Moore used to be in... Um, Thin Lizzy at one point, kind of off and on, and had his own little solo career, so I was really happy to uh, pick this up because a lot of people were recommending it to me. Next couple I haven't even taken out of the shrink wrap yet. This is um, The New Annihilator, Ballistic Sadistic, Bad Wolves with Nation, then we have Acid Rain, The Age of Entitlement. Uh, this is a band that... I had heard years ago, heard a song or two here, but I never really listened to a full-length album, but uh, I've been hearing a lot of good things about this one, so I checked it out a little bit, liked what I heard, so I picked it up, and I believe I actually got that from um, Mad Rush Media on eBay as well. Got the new Kirk Weinstein, his actually his debut solo album, Dream in Motion. My God, this thing is so fucking good. You know, Kirk guitarist, vocalist, mastermind, and riff beast of Crowbar, also of Down, and uh, Kingdom of Sorrow, among other things. Uh, yeah, really good album so far. Uh, really, one of my first 2020 releases. So, got uh, Ellison, Sleeping Giants, debut solo album from uh, Megadeth Bassist. It's a two-CD version, which I believe the second one is just a... Um, yeah, just an artist sampler from his label and everything. But yeah, only listened to a little bit of it so far. Sounds pretty good. We got Three Tremors with their uh, self-titled debut uh, featuring... Uh, I cannot remember the guy's name from Cage, the vocalist of Cage. Uh, Ripper Owens and Harry the Tyrant Conklin. And we have Crusadist with the Unholy Grail. Picked this up off the band's band camp, and they were gracious enough to sign it for me. So thank you guys if you happen to be watching this. And last but not least, picked up the new Fit for an Autopsy album, The Sea of Tragic Beasts. Uh, been meaning to pick this up, and I kept hearing the song uh, Unloved on uh, Liquid Metal, and I finally was just like, you know what, fuck it, I gotta get that. 
So yeah, that is going to do it. Sorry I had to start rushing, but I had a lot to get through, and I got to try to keep these videos a certain length, or it just becomes a hassle trying to upload them. So yeah, that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, and until next time, stay brutal.